Flow AI, new to FCS Express 7, allows a user to perform quality control on flow cytometry data in order to improve both manual and automated downstream analysis. The Flow AI algorithm removes events with anomalous values by taking into account three aspects of a flow cytometry data file, the flow rate, the signal acquisition, and the dynamic range. Flow AI is intended to be run on non-compensated data. By default, FCS Express applies the compensation matrix associated with your loaded data file, or the compensation default set on your layout each time a new file is analyzed. Because Flow AI requires non-compensated data parameters, the following steps should be performed prior to using Flow AI. In the Layout options, accessible from the ribbon under File, Info, Layout Options, navigate to the Compensation options and set the New Compensated Parameters Should to append to data after uncompensated parameters. Then click OK. Next, insert a plot containing a file from the desired data set to clean. This will allow for both compensated and non-compensated parameters to be selected when performing Flow AI. In FCS Express 7, the Flow AI algorithm is provided as a predefined pipeline step. To add a pipeline, open the Tools tab on the ribbon and select the Transformations Editor. Click on the plus icon in the Transformations Editor to select a new pipeline. In the Pipeline options, you can select a gate from the dropdown to run all downstream pipeline steps on a predefined population, select the template file to run the pipeline on, and select the parameters to include in the pipeline. For Flow AI, we need to make the non-compensated parameters available to the pipeline. To do that, first select the plot on the layout containing the desired data file. Next, click on the ellipsis to the right of the template file field and select the option Select Template from Selected Plot. Note in the parameter list, the compensated parameters have been appended with the suffix comp. Non-compensated parameters contain no suffix and are listed above the compensated parameters. For Flow AI, check the boxes next to the non-compensated parameters plus time and scatter. Next, we need to add the Flow AI predefined pipeline step. To add a pipeline step, click on the plus icon near the top center of the transformations editor. Then select the predefined algorithms Flow AI. A new Flow AI pipeline step will be added to our pipeline. The predefined algorithm for Flow AI includes three pipeline steps. The flow rate check downsampling, which detects and removes data acquired during flow rate surges and large deviations from the median value. The signal acquisition downsampling, which removes regions in the acquisition where the signal intensity is unstable, and the dynamic range downsampling, which removes outliers or margin events at the lower and upper limits of detection. The flow rate check downsampling allows two inputs from the user. The alpha, or level of statistical significance used to accept anomalies, with a default value of 0.01, and the max percentage of values that may be flagged as outliers, with the highest accepted value as 49.99. The downsampling action section is available in all three Flow AI steps and allows the user to create a new parameter for that step, the downsampling mask, by selecting the create mask parameter. If a mask parameter is selected, sampled and unsampled events will be accessible under the label provided in the downsampling mask name field. If no mask is selected, only downsampled events will be available as the result of the transformation. The signal acquisition downsampling allows the following customizations. Set the penalty value for the change point algorithm. The higher the penalty value, the less strict the detection of anomalies. The number of events in each bin, the max number of change points that can be detected for each channel, and the minimum number of contiguous bins. The dynamic range downsampling allows for the following options. Use PNR for upper limit. When checked, the range or PNR keyword for the selected parameter will be used as the upper limit of values to include. Events with equal or higher signal will be removed. If unchecked, the user may define the upper limit manually. Use Z-score for lower limit. When checked, the lower limit will be set to the Z-score method in the original Flow AI publication. When unchecked, the user may define the lower limit manually. Note that each step includes appropriate defaults and Flow AI can be run immediately once the defined pipeline step has been added. To run the Flow AI pipeline on your data files, simply drag and drop onto the desired plots on your layout. 
Once applied, the plot title will show the suffix pipeline transformed. With the default selections, only the cleaned events will be accessible on your plot. Important notes when performing Flow AI. The algorithm is intended to be run on linearly scaled data. If one or more scaling steps are present in the upstream pipeline of the Flow AI step, be sure to select only the linearly scaled parameters as the input for the signal acquisition or new dynamic range downsampling. The non-compensated parameters can be removed after the Flow AI step if not needed in subsequent steps of the pipeline. Pipeline steps downstream of Flow AI can be scaled or used with compensated data. For more details on Flow AI, please visit our online manual at www.denovosoftware.com.